raises a red flag over potentially and new details on a frightening kidnapping in Carmichael tonight. The victim's father speaks exclusively with KCRA 3. case of a Carmichael girl who was kidnapped from her home and then let go. In an exclusive interview tonight, KCRA 3's Mallory Hoff spoke with that eight-year-old's father. She was staying at his home the night she was abducted. An ADT truck was parked outside of the home where investigators say a child was snatched from her bed. Inside, remnants of a crime scene. The girl's father says smudges on a glass door unlocked the night of the abduction mark the spot where detectives attempted to lift fingerprints. In an exclusive interview, he describes being woken up by his daughter. She was scratched up on the legs and feet and bruised under her arms, puzzled and scared, adamant that she was taken. Taken and released by this man, according to investigators, a suspect the family doesn't recognize. Investigators say evidence at the scene backs up the girl's story. Why do you think he chose this house? Well, I, I don't know. Out of hundreds of houses here, this is the one he picks. As he takes us outside, we take note of a transparent situation. Is it possible that someone had been paying attention to what goes it's, on? It's very possible. The whole back of the house is glass. So basically living in a, in a fishbowl. Investigators say in the dark of the early morning, the suspect hoisted the little girl up over this fence. She fell in the process. I believe that's why she didn't get up and run. They made their way into a wooded area, but ultimately her abductor let her go. Do you think this event will change her? Of course. Of course, I don't think she's going to trust people as much as she used to. The result of a childhood interrupted in the middle of the night. In Carmichael, Mallory Hoff, KCRA 3 News. Investigators spent the day canvassing that neighborhood. Detectives say that they have received numerous tips from the public. Also new tonight, authorities say 13 people, most of them children, were heard in a county.